You know, the number one question I always get this time of year is, what's the number one thing I can do to grow my business? Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. Hope you guys are having a great day whenever you're watching this video. Hey, I wanna talk to you for a few minutes about the number one tip that I can give you guys for having a more successful lawn care landscaping business. And I wanted to talk about something that is so often forgotten about, and that is good customer service. All right, guys, so welcome to the jungle. If you guys are new here, my channel is all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn and landscape business so you guys can go out there and crush it. We do that with reviews, how to's, product logs, all, everything in between, right? We're crazy, I'm crazy. We're all just running around trying to have more successful lawn and landscape businesses. So if you guys are new here, you don't have to subscribe, just enjoy the content. But if you've seen two or three of our videos, that might be a little sign from the algorithm gods that you might like the rest of our content. So maybe consider subscribing. Uh, if you guys are part of the regular crew, as always, thank you so much for hitting the thumbs up. Let's jump into it. It, man. So this time of year, we're all anxious to get out there and we're all anxious to grow our business, get new customers and do the whole deal, right? Is what I always say. Well, as we run out there, one thing that I just want to keep top of mind is having good customer service. I actually did a whole podcast on this topic uh, just a week ago, talking about good, bad, and ugly customer service stories and why customer service almost seems to be dead in America today. For example, on the podcast, I talked about restaurants. I talked about the airlines. I talked about um, calling people back, trying to buy things, and I can't get people to return phone calls, right? So what I wanted to just do, just a short and sweet video here is just to remind you guys that as we're going into the upcoming season and always with our lawn and landscape business just in general exercise and practice good customer service you know the number one question I always get this time of year is uh, especially from the younger guys or people in their first year or two in business what's the number one thing I can do to grow my business any helpful tips or advice well let's just slow down you got to have the prerequisite which is do good quality work show up on time do a great job if you're gonna mow mow professionally have good equipment keep your trucks washed that's the ante though for what we do but what you really do with a business is you take care of somebody whether it's a service business or a product uh, that you're selling somebody you're offering an experience you're offering offering an event you're trying to take care of them and we have to remember that at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day we want to make sure that our customers are happy and not just satisfied like my friend jeff joiner said but we want to turn them into raving fans how do you do that you slow down and you take care of the customer and make sure that before they uh, meet your business, during the, when they are using your business or product or service, and even the follow-up and afterwards that you're taking care of the customer. Now, why do I say that? Because outside of doing the basics like cutting grass, doing landscaping, fertilizing a lawn, we wanna make sure that our customers are enjoying the experience with our business. You know, when's the last time one of us called one of our customers and did a quality assurance kind of update or follow-up to make sure that our customers are happy? That's a little tip or a little system that you can implement into your business. Let's say you cut the lawn, you tell the client, hey, we can't get A on the first time, we're gonna do our best, but we can get it back to a B or a B plus. But the second and third week, we're really gonna shine and your lawn's gonna start looking like Lawn of the Month Club. We'll call them back. Call them back two or three weeks later. Hey, just wanted to touch base. We've been cutting your lawn for two or three weeks. What do you guys think of the service? Anything we can change? Do you like the cut of the height? So on and so forth, right? See, here's a long story short. So many of you guys are getting started with your business and you still gotta remember, let's not focus exclusively on equipment, trailer setups, the best trimmers, the best mowers, the best blowers, okay? That's all the prerequisite of what we have to do in our business. But many people have said this in many different industries, you're not in a service business, you're not in a product business, you are in a people business. You have to take care of customers. I don't care if you're in network marketing. I don't care if you're in real estate. I don't care if you are selling widgets and doodads. I don't care if you're selling them my pillow, right? The bottom line, you have to take care of the customer and you have to treat people right. So one little thing that I always remind myself this time of year is put on the happy face, take care of customers, thank people, P's and Q's, always get back with folks. Don't let your voicemail box fill up call people back. Don't let people be out there hanging, if you will. 
get back with folks. By the way, I actually went into an hour long rant on this topic and I compared and contrasted good customer service, ugly customer service, and bad customer service stories. And of course, great customer service stories on the podcast at length for an hour. It was such a fun conversation. I invite you guys to check out the podcast. We have a podcast. Who doesn't have a podcast these days? Podcast is called Fullerton Unfiltered. It's where we just cut it loose. We rip. We have no filter. YouTube's a little bit more polished, let's be honest. But the podcast, it's unfiltered. So it's an opt-in kind of uh, audience there. So if you guys want to check that out, I think there's a ton of lessons you guys can learn from good customer service stories, bad customer service stories, and I've had some pretty ugly customer service stories uh, through the years. So guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up really quick. Just a quick little friendly reminder, exercise good customer service. Remember, unhappy customers will tell 10 times more people about a bad experience than a good customer will talk to all their friends and family, relatives and neighbors about a good customer experience. So if you wanna turn your customers into raving fans, make sure you're getting back with them and treating them right because if you don't they're gonna let everybody know how you drop the ball all right guys well that's all i got for you on today's video again if you're new here don't forget to subscribe if you guys are part of the regular crew thank you for hitting the big thumbs up you guys got any good customer service stories get any quick tips that you can pass on to the rest of the folks that are listening in especially some of the new folks that are just getting started with their first season in the lawn and landscape industry leave those comments down below guys that's it can't wait to catch up with you here on the next one